Imagine that you're trying to create a side hustle or an application and you have no idea where to start. There's so many different platforms you could be using and it just feels overwhelming. Today we're going to break down how you can create your very own side hustle or micro SaaS and how you can pick what platform is right for you. We're going to do a deep dive on something called cyber leads, break down how they actually built it and ways that you can build it with four different ways. We're going to show you how to do it with Softer, Glide, Flutterflow, Builder, and a secret one that I would choose at the end. So let's break this down. First of all, what is Cyberleads? Cyberleads is a platform where you can get leads for startups that are that just raised money and they're looking for help. So if you're a digital agency or a freelancer and you're trying to figure out who you should work with, this platform does all of that work for you for you. So this is a micro SaaS. So a SaaS is a software as a service. We call this a CAS knowledge as a service, K-A-A, K-A-A-S. And you can be doing this for your own industry, whatever it is. This could be um, Reddit. Say for instance, you're doing all the hard work to show people different subreddits that are popping off. You could be doing this with video games. You could do this with Ikea. The list goes on and on. Now the breakdown is how can you actually accomplish this? What pages would it take and all of those things? So we have this breakdown real, real quick. This is what we would do. What do we know about this? Now get cyber leads, we would say that's a micro SaaS, but really how many pages are we looking for for you to get started with yourself? Well, we'd need really about four different pages, roughly, right? We would need a login page, we'd need a user login page, we would need a database search, so that would be the home page where people come in and see all these things. Uh, basic filtering, detailed view, possibly that's optional, and then a way to to make money, right? Get a subscription, and then a bonus way, maybe uh, saving your favorite items. Now, if you're saying like that's way too basic, let's take a look at cyber leads. What they have right here, they allow us to see a live demo of this. This is literally an Airtable. I'm not sure if they still use an Airtable, but definitely when it first was conceived, they're just giving you options to gain access to a Airtable base right here. So they have a main page right here. When you go to pricing, when you're looking at uh, the subscription, it takes you to a Stripe checkout page that you can build yourself, right? So this is done with no code with Stripe. And then you have a login page over here to access the, uh, the, the, the database itself over here. And yeah, you sign in, then you'll probably go from there. Those are the pages that I'm seeing right now. So we need a login page, a database page, users favorites. That's a, um, optional. Um, a detail page, subscription page. So really, if we look at the basics right here, if we're going to do something very similar, we would just need a login page and a database view page. And if we want to get fancy to have a landing page for people to see this, it can be a website page that you can build with a uh, card if you want to, or, um, or probably, yeah, a softer, tons of different things. So you just need a website builder. So let's take a look at here. We need these main components here. Now, what are the no-code tech options that we could use to do this? Remember, we need an option to just have someone to sign in, um, pay, and do those things. So the first option I would do is probably softer. The reason I would look at softer is I can look at the templates. And once I get to the template, I see that there is a dashboard one that they have right here, dashboard, where I could look at, see if that's right for me. I would probably instead go with something similar to a community or job board. Let's, let's go with job board. Let's see. They used to have a job board one, but if I could spell community right... VC community event. Okay, let's take a look at this, right? So it could be a form or VC founders one. So let's take a look. So if I look at this, what all I need is a page where they can preview 
the infer uh, preview like my list of things, right? Let's go back to the venture one. Preview that one. Founders. Okay, let's look at the community form instead. Let's go back one. Preview. Okay, they have a page where it says hello and join. Community form. And also, let me take a look at one of the pages. Okay, so what I'm going to do to see more details on it, I'm going to go down and see the different pages that could be provided. So right here, I can see top posts right here. And this is just a voting section, basically, for people to create posts and to add something to their actual website. Yeah, so we have this one here that we could use and I'll, I could go into softer and, and look at more pages, but I could use the community form template. That's number one. Okay. Um, I can also do this with glide as well. Glide is a platform where you can create no code apps and here now that they added um, AI with this as well, they're saying it's AI powered. So a lot of different platforms is allowing you to use things like um, uh, GPT-4 to build apps and, and go from there and build even faster. Uh, that's another option that you could be doing. The different features I could have people saving things, uh, creating a dashboard where they could be getting access to the database. Uh, they can save it to their profile and also have a subscription. That's one thing as well. Um, Flutterflow is another option that you could be doing the same thing with as well. Uh, that allows you to have the key components. You could even do more advanced things with uh, really editing the database and have the association with the favoriting as well. And Builder will allow you to do this as well. This is, if you're, if you're unfamiliar with Builder, this really allows you to create tons of things. Chrome extensions, uh, progressive web apps, Web3 things. I would say this is closer to the low code side. I see a lot of developers really, really efficient with this. It's just very advanced and it has its very specific workflow. So it's very different than most no code platforms out there, but it's highly powerful. It's very powerful. And enterprise companies have built some amazing things on Builder, but it is a very steep learning curve. So I always caution that if you're trying to create an MVP or something like that. So we looked at the components that we, we need for this, right? Um, the other way too, because we looked at uh, cyber leads, they did this and they have a live demo. They did this just giving access to an Airtable base. You could be giving access to Google Sheet as well, um, the same kind of thing. So to me, if I was gonna be building this, and this is my option, if I was gonna create an MVP, a minimal viable product, to see if people were interested in having a, a database that I sold, I would just use paper form. And the reason I would use paper form is I can create the form to collect their information, I can add, integrate a subscription with Stripe, and then I can just redirect them to access the, uh, to access the table base. I could build something very similar like this in Airtable and just give them access like viewing access only. So I wouldn't allow them to edit, but they could just view from there. Now that would allow me to create a home page that they could search for them to do that. The only thing that I would be missing if I was going for the bonus round would be able to save that information. I would need something a little bit more advanced to be able to save. Now what platform that would be more advanced if I wanted to scale to have specific filtering or being able to save, um, save different interests versus, you know, just looking at a database and I, it's only a view only kind of thing. I would be looking at something like glide or above at this point, softer. I've not seen that capability yet for you to have an association for a user and favorites and creating more, uh, custom, um, on uh, custom features for users. Softer is great for very, very basic things, but, but it just doesn't have the advanced features yet like Glide, Flutterflow, or Builder. Now, they, the Glide, Flutterflow, and Builder also have very specific use cases as well. I think 
if I was trying to create a very sleek looking V1, I would probably use Glide. There's tons of reasons why I would not scale with Glide. I know there are Fortune 500 companies, great companies use Glide. I have my reasons. If you want me to break down and do another video about what I like and don't like about Glide, we can go there. But if I was looking for scalability, the overall package I would probably go with is Flutterflow because I can have a lot more, uh, I can do a lot more with the database if I'm using Firebase or Superbase or Rowy on top of that. I can scale a lot easier. It looks great. The team is constantly building things, and especially with the new AI gen things. For Builder, I can do a lot of advanced things, but the community is smaller and they're still figuring things out. I have some hope for Builder, but I haven't seen what I want from it yet. And what I mean by that is the easeability for people to learn this coming from no code versus developers coming into Builder. I think if you have a developing background, I've seen developers build very quickly, or if you have an analytical mind, you've, you've coded in the past. I've seen Builder being a very good tool. I've not seen a lot of no coders been able to easily use Builder. I just haven't seen it the other way. And then when I'm talking to developers, because there's the other option is coding, I've talked to some developers and then they say, well, if I'm gonna learn all these things and it's almost to the point of I'm coding a lot of things, why would I not just use my language that I'm used to, Python, Ruby, whatever, um, Next.js, and just do that? That's a valid point as well. So th that's what I'm saying. There's tons of different, there's a bandwidth of what you're trying to create, where you are, what you're trying to do. But overall, if we're trying to create something like cyber leads, there are great no-code tools that you could get this in done within a day. Which brings us to the announcement of BuildCon 23. We've done this in years past. This is the third year that we're coming back with BuildCon, but we're doing it with a twist. We're gonna be building live. You're gonna be seeing us create a micro SaaS, just like what we just outlined live. So we're gonna be showing you how to do this with Softer, Glide, Flutterflow, Bubble, uh, pa uh, paper form and, and also just coding. So you can decide on, do you wanna get started with these different platforms and ask experts questions as they build. It's gonna be a, a live event. We're gonna be announcing more details soon. It's gonna be at the beginning of September, 2023. But if you wanna get on, on the action, the updates, asking things live, you know, getting help for what you're trying to build with these platforms, make sure that you sign up down below because there's going to be an invite for BuildCon 23 so you can get involved. If you like breakdown videos like this, if you like what we're talking about here, showing you a breakdown of how this would be possible, what you would need to build your own application or micro SaaS, let me know in the comment section down below if you like these new kind of videos. We're, we're experimenting with this format. If people like it, we're gonna do more of these kind of videos. But this is a little bit more in depth, but for you to understand, there are tons of different options, but focus on your goals. Where do you wanna go? And then pick the right tool and the right, the right framework for you. If you like these videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.